In the world of commercial electric trucks, DanaCorp has made a name for itself with the TM4. In a minute, you'll hear from one of their experts. But I'm going to say this. This is Mike speak. What Cummins is for diesel engines, Dana TM4 is for electric motors. I drove the Bollinger B4. Did you see that video? Dana TM4. I also need to do a video on Lion Electric someday. Dana TM4. Nice truck. What motor do you use? Dana TM4. By the way, Cummins realizes this, and they purchased Meritor two years ago, rebranded their growing e-axle business under their Accelera brand. They see where the industry is going. Dana, you know as a major car and truck parts manufacturer, they formed a joint venture with Hydro-Quebec, which, as the name suggests, they generate a lot of clean, renewable electricity in Quebec using hydropower. Together, they have a lineup of electric motors for medium and heavy-duty applications. I'm uh, Olivier Bernatchez. I'm the uh, Senior Manager of pro pro Global Product Planning for Dana TM4. We have a, a area, an area here where we are showing our uh, e-propulsion systems, uh, but mostly the components, so the e-motors, the inverters, and also some of the technologies that go into these products. So, of course, they know we want to position ourselves as a supplier of either complete powertrain, but also we want to supply uh, technologies and components to our OEM customers that might want to develop their own uh, you know, uh, configuration, direction configurations in-house. And so here on this motor technology area, we're showing quite a few uh, innovative things. First, here is an example of uh, a brand new type of uh, traction motor that, we've, uh, are, that we are launching in production by the end of 2025. And it ha it's an IPM motor, so internal permanent magnet. But one of the innovation is the um, immersion cooling technology, so oil immersion cooling. Uh, where we encapsulate the stator uh, and uh, and really cool it with oil, uh, but avoiding avoiding some of the drawbacks of other uh, oil cooling at, uh, con configurations like uh, you know spraying, oil spraying, and so on. So we avoid having oil in the air gap that can create some losses, and we can also keep cooling the motor even though uh, even if it's not spinning. Uh, so these are some of the benefits, and this is finding its way into um, a new e-drive unit that will be in production at the end of 2025. And we're showing also different rotor technologies. So of course, everybody knows permanent magnet uh, motors. They are the baseline today, but permanent magnets you know, come with some uh, considerations when it comes to cost, when it comes to uh, supply chain. And so we also want to be able to offer alternative. So what we're showing here uh, is technologies that we have in our portfolio um, that are either reducing the amount of rare earth or uh, eliminating, eliminating, the, eliminating them completely. Uh, so we have some synchronous reluctance uh, motors that don't use any magnets at all. So the profile of the lamination will create a reluctance torque in uh, interaction with uh, you know, the, the current that you send to the stator, the magnetic field that is generated. And that's one way to, to you know, that's one motor technology that's very uh, comparable to uh, AC induction motor in terms of, you know, uh, power density, but it's actually more efficient. So these are, you know, three of the technologies we have, and we have more in development or in our portfolio. But it's about, you know, for us, it's about finding the right tool for the job. And uh, we can offer many, many different options to our customers. Induction motor, synchronous reluctance motor, magnet assisted synchronous reluctance motor, internal permanent magnet. You know what I learned? When you cut them open, they're really cool looking and complex, which is why companies like Dana TM4 are needed to provide their expertise. It requires a lot of effort by many different teams in, in a, an organization like Dana integrating not only you know, the motor and gearbox components together, but all the you know, inverter uh, integration as well, the software aspects, you know, it takes, a, it takes an army. Your TM4 motors, it's showing up in mm -hmm. trucks all over the floor. So I was glad I got a chance to stop in and say hi. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you for your time.